What's all this business about Goldbach levels? I'm going to show you how you can use advanced intelligence, such as ChatGPT, to improve your own trading performance. So this is a high level example I'm going to show you, but you can get a lot more detailed to really find those areas in your trading that you can drastically improve. So this is the advanced version of ChatGPT. I pay a monthly subscription of this. So it's important to always prep your GPT. So what I'm going to say is, hello, GPT, you're an expert trader with over 30 years of experience trading the financial markets. You are now a mentor, coach and advisor to professional traders who are looking to improve their profitability. I am a professional trader who trades Forex, index futures, gold, silver, oil and crypto. Together, let's explore how we can improve my trading performance. Please forget our previous conversations for this chat, primarily because I don't want to share <laughs> my own trading. And also, please keep your answers brief and in summary form. Uh, I'm doing this for the purposes of the YouTube video, so it is not overly long. Understood. To improve your trading performance, let's focus on a few key areas. One, trade plan optimization. Review your trading plan to ensure clarity on entry exit rules, risk management, and asset focus. Two, risk management. Evaluate your position sizing, stop loss placement, and overall portfolio exposure. Aim for consistency in applying risk reward ratios. Three, psychological discipline. Work on emotional control, avoiding overtrading or revenge trading. Implement daily routines to maintain focus and discipline. Four, data analysis. Regularly review and analyze past trades for patterns of success and areas of improvement. Track performance metrics, e.g. win-loss ratios, average profit. Five, strategy refinement. Fine-tune your strategies for different market conditions, trending versus ranging markets, and focus on improving edge in each instrument. Would you like to dive deeper into any specific area? So... It's always good to give feedback to the GPT. I like the high level overview of areas to focus. Let's please deep dive. I find that I perform better during certain weeks over others. I don't have my trading data available right now. So let's explore some market related factors which may be contributing to this. Now, via GPT, you can upload your trading performance. And that is great because then you can bring in other data from GPT to uh, deep dive into that. But for the purpose of this example, let's keep it high level so it's applicable to you also. To explore why certain weeks perform better than others, let's consider the following market related factors. One, market volatility. News releases. Weeks with major economic data, like non-farm payrolls, CPI Fed meetings, can lead to higher volatility. Such events often impact forex, gold, oil, and index futures. Earnings season. If you're trading indices, the quarterly earnings of major companies can increase volatility. Geopolitical events. News on geopolitical tensions or global macroeconomic developments can drive volatility across multiple asset classes especially gold, oil, and forex. So I like uh, point number six. So let's dive into economic calendar positioning. Thank you. Let's drill into, I should say, factor six. So let's fix that. Oh, actually, chat GPT have worked, has worked it out. Factor six. Please go into further detail on which specific news events can lead to lower probability trading conditions and the period over which these trading conditions are likely to be lower probability. Okay, so let's just run it again. Oh, 
Focusing on factor six, economic calendar positioning. Certain high impact news events can lead to lower probability trading conditions due to volatility, uncertainty, or market indecision. Let's break down some of these events and the periods over which they can affect market conditions. One, non-farm payrolls, NFP, first Friday of every month. Market impact creates extreme volatility in Forex index futures like NASDAQ, S&P 500, and commodities like gold and oil. Lower probability period. Before, the 24 to 48 hours before the release, markets often consolidate or chop as traders reduce exposure. After, immediately following the release, sharp moves can trigger a- So this data seems pretty good. There's a lot of information here. So let's get ChatGPT to put this in a more digestible form. This is great, thank you. Please summarize the above in table form. Okay, so what do we have here? So event, non-farm payroll, market impact. Okay, so lower probability period, 24 to 48 hours before. Okay, and then several air hours after the release. FOMC, one to three days before. Central bank announcements, one or two days before. CPI data, 24 hours before. Interest rate, two days. Geopolitical, several days before. Government shutdowns earnings report excellent okay so now let's make an actionable list so amazing you are a great source of info given the above could you please provide me with actionable steps i can follow to reduce the likelihood of me trading during low probability trading conditions okay so what do we have here Still going. So monitor the economic calendar. Da, da, da. Okay, so let's do this without reading it all. Using the economic calendar in forexfactory.com for the next 30 days and starting from the first of this month, please show me the high probability trading days and the low probability trading days. So now I want ChatGPT to tell me the days I should trade so I can avoid things like low volatility and chop. Okay, so look at this, we have a plan now. Based on, actually let's let ChatGPT read it. She has a better voice than me. Based on the economic calendar from Forex Factory for October, 2024, here is a breakdown of high probability and low probability trading days for the next 30 days. These days are categorized based on the likelihood of high impact events that could lead to market volatility and lower trading predictability. So you can read that. So let's just confirm. Okay, so for the above, did you take into account that certain news events can produce low probability trading conditions for the day prior to the news? Whoops, should say event. Okay, so no, the analysis did not fully take into account the possibility of low trading conditions prior to the event. Let's now revise the breakdown. So sometimes you have to treat your AI as a person who can make mistakes. So do check their output. So if you are brainstorming with someone else, when you're doing this back and forth, you still have to verify that they didn't make any mistakes. So now this gives you the low probability trading days and the high probability trading days. Great, thank you for this. Are there any studies or other sources which indicate news event windows being low probability to trade? There we go. And do you have any anecdotal evidence for the above premise? Anecdotal evidence for choppy market conditions prior to significant news releases is common among professional traders and supported by various market observations. Here are a few notable patterns often discussed. One, non-farm payroll NFP choppiness. Many traders experience erratic market behavior leading up to the U.S. non-farm payroll NFP release on the first Friday of every month. Market participants frequently avoid opening significant positions, leading to range-bound choppy trading. This wait-and-see mentality can result in unpredictable price action for Forex, index futures, and gold as traders position themselves for the release. Volatility... If 
NFP news is due on due on the coming Friday. When should I stop trading for the week? Okay, so to summarize, best practice stop trading by Thursday at the latest. If you prefer even more caution, consider stopping on Wednesday, especially if you notice low volatility and unclear directional trends. Resume trading after the dust settles post NFP on Friday or the following week when the market stabilizes. So within 20 minutes or so, we have gone from setting up an advisor to a very specific plan on the days that we should trade. And given that NFP is on Friday today, the advice would have been to stop trading on Wednesday. Okay. Now, I hope this has piqued your curious curiosity into how you can use artificial intelligence to improve your own trading. I've gone a lot, lot deeper than this, obviously. And trust me, ChatGPT knows a lot. And especially when you start providing it with market data and your own trading data, you can take things to the next level. Now, if you are still looking for a proven edge on how to trade Forex, index futures, crypto, oil, gold, silver, and so on, feel free to check out my time and price golden bullet strategy for which there's a link in the description to this video. What's all this business about Goldbach levels?